As the Dragon Bravo fire continues to burn on the north rim of the Grand Canyon, an NAU professor wants to know how the fire is impacting the water supply. He tells 12 News journalist William Pitts he's about to start testing the water to make sure it's safe and keeps flowing long after the fire's out. There's one thing on everyone's mind from the owner of the Kaibab Lodge. You know, the Grand Canyon's still here. They'll rebuild. We'll be back. To the governor who toured the fire last month. Because this is the Grand Canyon, everyone is concerned about recovery. How do we get um, the North Rim reopened as quickly as possible? Recovery. And it doesn't just mean rebuilding. And it won't take just a year or two. Monsoon season's quickly drawing to a close. Um, but we're really gearing up for the, the snowmelt season. NAU professor Abe Springer is talking about long-term recovery of the thing that built the Grand Canyon in the first place, the water. What we're trying to help the park identify is if there are changes in runoff patterns uh, from the fire, in the areas that contribute to Roaring Springs. Roaring Springs is the main water source for the canyon, and the Dragon Bravo fire burned right over it. The water is still flowing, but the problems are on the horizon, because when the Dragon Bravo fire finally dies down, there's going to be a lot of ash, dirt, and mud, and it's going straight into the water. So we all know from seeing these fires around the state for years that we tend to get bigger amounts of erosion and debris that comes off from flows. And in this case, they, a lot of them will just immediately enter the subsurface and get through the plumbing that comes out the spring. The plumbing is the big concern. Since 2010, the main water line of the Grand Canyon has broken 85 times. A new water system is under construction to the tune of more than $200 million. But if the water is basically all mud, all that money may be for nothing. So the park needs to be concerned with the amount of suspended solids or the turbidity. Uh, that, that's in the water from the springs to assure that it's it's a quality supply that they deliver for the uh, uh, people who visit the park and the people who work there. Springer got an emergency grant to set up remote monitoring stations around the canyon to check the water quality. That'll help the park figure out what to do about it, filter it, treat it, clean the system more, because the fire is still burning and the effects will be seen for years to come. William Pitts, 12 News. All right, well, thank you.